how the game is today. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> the game is at 1.30 and it is currently 11.49. So I have a bit of time. I've just been doing some stuff like handling emails and stuff like that. The boring stuff, a bit of banking stuff. I just have a bunch of small tasks to do, so I wrote them out. Hopefully I'm not forgetting any, and I want to do as many as possible today. Christian's getting some laundry going. I am going to do some dishes. Dishes are done. Next up, floors. It's my mat, my anti-fatigue mat. I'm curious to see how much I'll use it now that I do have the swivel stool in here because obviously the stool is in the way of the mat if I put the mat down there. So it'd be something I have to put into place if I feel like standing. I can move this and put the mat down. Okay, I haven't actually done the floors yet because I wanted to get stuff off the floors first. So I hauled a bunch of stuff down here into the basement and the first load of laundry is done. So I'm transferring it to the dryer. I need to fold some of this stuff up on this rack so I can actually hang stuff on the rack. So there's this device that's been circulating around pin communities. I've seen it before on the pin Facebook group I'm in, but it's this device that removes your pin backing. Like you just slide your pin into it and you can pop it off. And I've seen that many times before, but I think I didn't fully understand how it worked. But then today, so far there have been three people who have tagged me in a video of it and it looks way easier than I thought it was. Like I thought you just slid your pin into the thing and you had to pry the, still had to pry the pin apart from the pin backings once it was in there. But it looks like, like it must have a slope inside where as you slide it, it pulls the back, the backings off. So it looks way easier than I thought it would be. So I ordered one. I bit the bullet. I ordered one because I, I take the backings off so many pins that I could probably really use that. I don't typically remove all my backings in bulk though. Like usually I'll take the clutches off, stick it on the cardboard, then put the clutches back on right away. So that's also what made me not want to use that thing. But honestly, if I just do my process a little bit differently, then that thing could really help me. So I ended up ordering one from that person's Etsy shop. So yeah, that'll be handy. The only thing is it's not going to come in time for this pin launch, obviously. So then I was thinking like, oh, can I make one using my 3D pen? <laughs> Just a crude one to use until the nice one comes in the mail. <laughs> so now I kind of want to try that because, you know, I have 2,150 pins for this launch. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try making one. <laughs> The game's about to start. Got some snacks here for me and Christian. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's too much chess. It's getting so intense, Kiki. Oh, she hopped off. I can't handle it. Riders are losing. What is that? Oh my god. Furiously eating carrots. Oh. Mm, it just isn't looking good. It's not looking good, Kiki. Oh! <laughs> no! 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 Okay. Why do I watch football? Why do I watch football? I get Oh, God. Four seconds. Final attempt. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Cool. So that was intense. Well, now I can finally sweep. I'm not gonna vacuum because there are just cardboard chunks and stuff on the floor, so I'd rather sweep. And get those big chunky boys. There's one right there. So it's now the next day. Last night I just got a couple more tasks done around the house and then I finished off my Sunday night by live streaming a little bit. I got my shiny sobble, yes. And today it's just regular work stuff. <laughs> I have more accounting type stuff to do. I have to package an order for my dad because he ordered some of my pins. Like he just messaged me asking for some of them. So I need to put that together. 
and I want to play around with a new video idea so I can do just like a test, like one that's not necessarily going to be a video, but just test out the method. The DDR stream this morning was a little rough. My legs were very stiff <laughs> and I was so tired this morning, but I did it. Got it done. I would never would have worked out if I wasn't obligated to do the live stream because I was so tired this morning. It was so hard to drag myself out of bed, but I'm like, I got to do it because there's people waiting for me. So the streaming is very good for accountability. <laughs> so before I do anything else, I'm going to package up Harrison's thank you package because Harrison sent me the most recently opened subscriber mystery box. So I'm going to send back a box of goodies. This is the box that the stuff came in. And I was going to use it, but I feel like it's just maybe a little too snug because the paper just barely fits in here. And I want to have some kind of protection on the print and the original artwork. So, so instead, I'm going to use this Ring Fit Adventure Box. <laughs> Ooh, the mailer would fit in there too. I just didn't know if I wanted to go the chipboard route or the mailer route for the art. Let's set that there for a second. I need to make the button pack still. I printed this off already because I needed more toppers. I had toppers for the Bailey J set, so I can grab one of those. And I pressed extra buttons last time so that I would have some for the sets. So those are ready to go. I just need to pin them on the backings, which I thought I also took out. I'm out of that floral mesh that I would wrap around everything, that really glittery stuff. But I thought it would be cool to wrap stuff like Christmas presents because this will be arriving shortly before Christmas. Well, hopefully by the end of this month. But, you know, it's Christmas season. Uh, yeah, I think I could put maybe some buttons in here and then cover it and wrap it in wrapping paper. This could get wrapped in wrapping paper. Stuff like that. Okay, the original art and print are in here. take a lot of these out of their sleeves. There are eight. So if I stick four in one sleeve, it'll save on plastic sleeves. There we go. Okay, let's put cute foods on the outside. <laughs> These are the pins Harrison chose, and then I'm throwing in the new Christmas ones and the mail cat. Beep, beep. So recently I've been thinking about updating my avatar again on YouTube, like this Bailey face, but I was just gonna redo it maybe traditionally or make it have a traditional look at least and change up the facial expression, like pretty much keep it the same, but tweak it. But now I'm starting to wonder if I should just change it all together to be something that's not a cartoon face because of the whole COPPA thing. Like even my vlog avatar is gonna have to change. As much as I love this, face <laughs> I might just change it to a picture of my face like a photograph and then for the art channel one I don't know because again that could be a photograph of my face but maybe just a different one <laughs> I don't know. or just make the style vastly different just a more mature looking style I don't know I'll have to play around with ideas I'm probably gonna have to private certain videos on my art channel too because what's scary is not the video being demonetized and losing comments, even though losing comments makes me angry. <laughs> what is really going to hurt and could shut down channels is that COPPA can fine a YouTuber $42,000 for each video that's in violation of COPPA. Like, that doesn't mean you can't have any kid-directed channels at all. It's just that those videos have to be properly labeled as being for kids. So I'm going to have to go through my videos and either decide to label it as for kids or just private it or leave it labeled as not for kids. Cause stuff like frozen fan art, like that's really kid 
centric, I guess, even though I wasn't specifically targeting kids with those videos, it's, it's very attractive to kids. So my channel is definitely at risk. And I think changing up my avatar and branding is going to have to go along with that. It just sucks because it's not only kids who are into cartoony style art, you know? Adults are into that kind of thing. So, you know, we'll see what happens because some channels are already being hit by YouTube's filtering. Like, COPPA doesn't take effect yet, like the, the rules they're implementing for YouTube, but YouTube is already starting to take action in advance. Which I guess is good so that creators have time to get the swing of things and figure out how to label their content. But just because YouTube doesn't t detect your content as being for kids doesn't mean it's safe. They can try to help, but ultimately, legally, that doesn't stand. So I know it has a lot of people panicked right now. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like financially, I'll be okay as long as I don't get hit with those $42,000 fines. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of my videos, I might just end up privating them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens in January. I feel like they're going to hit a lot of people in January just to spook everyone. But then how it goes from there, who knows? I tell myself every time I need to make these packs in bulk, but like, for example, today, I don't have time to make them in bulk. <laughs> That's how it's been every time. I'm lucky I had some extra ones pressed already. Maybe eventually. Eventually, I'll have stuff done in bulk. <laughs> Maybe for round two.
All right, Harrison's package is all good to go. Now I'm putting together my dad's package. There are these ones here and some Christmas ones. I have to put them on their backing so because they don't have their backings put on yet. I'll test out my new cardboard piece here. See how it works. Some people suggested putting dots on here so you know where to stick the pins. I mean, I guess it'd kind of work if you looked way sideways, but you can't really tell when you're sticking it on otherwise. Also, you don't know exactly where the posts are going to be positioned. Like, I specify that in my design, but it's just sort of a general area. I think I'll be okay just eyeballing it. That's what I've done so far. Well, that worked really well. These cards are a little harder to pierce because they are the thicker ones. Cutie pine. <laughs> And ginger bun. I just love the new backing cards so much. I don't like flipping them over onto this. I need a, a softer surface to stick them on, like I lay a cloth down for when I flip it over. And then they go in their little sleeves. It still annoys me how the long end it makes it so you, you should fold this way, but then the seam is on this side, and it's the same thing for those gold foil bags I have. Maybe, that, maybe that's just the standard of how bags like this are made. So it's, a, it's a little awkward folding it this way, although when I'm folding over that much, it doesn't matter. If you're folding over just the tip, that's when it gets awkward. I transferred Bibba in a Box and Bunkin onto new backing cards just so that it would match these ones a little bit because some of them are still in the old clear sleeves. And then these ones were in the glassine, but they were the tall skinny backings. So I just transferred them to make it more consistent. Not that my dad would care, but I care. <laughs> it's bothering me. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the same thing with leftover pins that I have right now is they're gonna get all transferred to the new backing cards unless they're sealed in plastic. In that case, they're just gonna stay. But any glassine ones, they're gonna get taken out and switched over. Really, it's not that much work because those are just the extra ones I kept in case orders go missing, so there aren't that many of them. They fit quite nicely. There are 17 in there in total. <laughs> I'm just gonna write a note real quick and then seal it up. Woo! This is the new box size, by the way. The seven by seven, this was the six by six. So that's the size difference there. This size is for people who only get pins and this is for pins and prints because I'm increasing the size of my prints to five by seven. This box makes this one feel so small even though it's not that big of a difference. It's just, I don't know, now these ones feel extra tiny. <laughs> they are really small boxes though. I'm gonna quickly run to the post office. Gotta put some pants on though, because I'm in my PJ pants. <laughs> and then I'll come back and clean this up. All right, it is many hours later. I spent a long time setting up banking things. Just like I had to set up a whole new PayPal account, link it to my new business accounts and just switch over anything, any kind of subscription or billing had to be switched over. And I applied for a new GST number. There was just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of boring business stuff that had to get done. And I've been playing around with my new video idea. It's not going as smoothly as I'd hoped, but I'm just gonna need more experimentation. I'm gonna experiment more tomorrow though. It's 8.20 and I'm gonna go chill with Christian. We're gonna watch a couple shows and I can grade some pins in the meantime. But I'm gonna end the vlog here, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Okay, the buttons are all done. There are 40 of each. Well, there's 41 Sobble because one is for me. 